So I'm very excited about this discussion. This is one of my favorite issues. So the war between science and religion is like one of the oldest war uh, between man ever. And we're going to solve it tonight. Nice. Okay? Good. <laughs> now, Good. this is interesting. A new poll out from the Pew Research Center says that Americans, especially millennials, are becoming less religious. And my question is, as we get more advanced in science, does it hurt our belief in God? I don't, I, I kind of <laughs> feel... The non-science passion I feel, talks first. <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel like the more that we discover, more science discovers, mm -hmm. the more, personally, it reinforces the idea that there must be some kind of a God. Mm -hmm. Like, when you see things that we've never seen before, like the rings and Saturn, and mm -hmm. even just like sunsets or... Or yoga pants, yoga pants. Right. That yoga pants just appear in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. wait, wait. You're gonna you, tell you me there's no God? You behold yoga pants and you say there is a God? Oh yeah. Okay, okay. And That's sometimes, so sometimes I see like a big butt in yoga pants and I think, oh, maybe God's black. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna touch that one. <laughs> uh, does science for you uh, reveal more of an existence of God or an existence of more awesome science? Well, any time mm -hmm. someone describes their understanding of God, mm -hmm. typically it involves some statement of benevolence mm -hmm. or... Uh, Hence the big butt. Or, <laughs> or, or some kind of <laughs> kindness. Uh -huh. And I look out to the universe, yes, it is filled with mysteries, but it's also filled with all manner of things that would just as soon have you dead. Like, <laughs> like asteroid strikes and yes. hurricanes and tornadoes and tsunamis and, and volcanoes and uh, disease, pestilence. There are things that exist in the natural world that do not have your health or longevity as a priority. All and so I cannot look at the universe and say mm -hmm. that, yes, there's a God and this God cares about my life. <laughs> Mm -hmm. At all. The <laughs> evidence does not support this. But, so, no, so, but, in, all fairness, look, but in all fairness, why are people but in all fairness death? you just yeah. described the Old Testament. No, it's precisely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pastor, help me out. Does, does science, is science a threat to religion or can they coexist peacefully? No, I think that God created science. So mm -hmm. for me, um, I, I don't think that exploring any of this stuff is bad. I think it's going mm -hmm. to lead you to exactly what you said. The, a knowledge that something had to had to begin this, and there's something more. So mm -hmm. I, I love it. I think that science is awesome. I don't think they war at all. I yeah. do feel that. I do feel that the more we learn, though, mm -hmm. the more it might increase our likelihood of believing in a god or whatever. But it, I think it does hurt religion. I think the more mm -hmm. that you see, the more that things are mm -hmm. exposed, less likely that you show up in different places where <laughs> man has decided how you're, you're going to translate God. Yeah, so you're making a distinction between uh, the beauty of a system and thinking there must have been an intelligent design as opposed to this intelligent design doesn't want me to eat meat on Fridays. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. 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 Or, well, or, well, well, just, just right. to be clear, <laughs> yes. what is the intelligence of which you speak? Once again, an asteroid comes and it takes out 70% of all the species of life on Earth. Right. Is, is there some intelligence you're ascribing to? I think it's very to? clever. Right. And, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think of like the human body mm -hmm. and I look at like what's going on between our legs. There, mm -hmm. There's like a sewage system and an entertainment complex intermingling. You know. <laughs> so, so there is no, no, oh, no right. engineer uh -huh. of any intelligence would have designed it that way. Well, yeah, well, no, so, so yeah, but Pastor, wouldn't, but isn't there also the well, argument of the watch in the desert? It's the same argument. If you find a watch in the desert, you don't think it was erosion that created that I, watch. I think right? that sometimes religion yeah. prides itself on being the beginning and the end of all knowledge. Mm -hmm. So if you have already said, I know everything, we know it all, it mm -hmm. sometimes can eliminate new knowledge and discovery when I think that's wrong. So, so I think that sometimes people get threatened by things like science, which uh -huh. makes no sense to me because if you're secure in your faith, mm -hmm. you'll be open to learning, hearing, discovering. And I think that's the essence of at least my religion. Mm -hmm. uh, do you hold any room, any space at all in there for the existence of a God or? Sure, if there's evidence. And why, I, is I'm, that? I'm, why, why do you hold that? I, I lead an evidence-driven life. What and kind so of evidence do you need? Yoga pants. <laughs> So what, what, what more do you need, Mr. Well, Tyson? What kind it's of evidence does point. science need? And, and does, is faith completely not compatible with an evidence-based... So, so empirically, what yes. is it? Something like 40% of, mm -hmm. of American scientists will go to church and pray to a personal God, a God mm -hmm. who would answer their prayers. Mm -hmm. And when you go to those scientists, including the head of the National Institutes of Health, um, 
a guy who's uh, headed the genome project. Okay. Uh, so Fr uh, Francis Collins. I was going to say Francis Collins. Fr okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Francis Collins. Yeah. He. He's a he's a born again he's, Christian. He's a, wrote a yes, book. Absolutely. He was hiking in the in the mountains and right. turned a corner and the waterfall was frozen yeah. in the winter. And, and he, he said, "What would he, Jesus do?" He, Look fell, at this he fell to uh, his knees, <laughs> prostrate, and gave himself to God. Right. Yet he's a productive, active scientist. Correct. How do these sit together? Because he's not saying the universe was created in six days. Yes. He has embraced science, yet has kept the spirituality part of what is in the religion. And by the way, he's not the first to do that. Thomas Jefferson is perhaps the most famous person, most famous American to have done that. He said, yeah. the value of this religion is not in me believing in miracles, yeah. it's believing and following wisdom carried by an important person in the history of humans. I, I think he had and just so, had sex with this slave when he wrote that. Correct. Too, right there. But just right <laughs> yeah. after. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pastor, I'm gonna give you the last word. I, I think that people need to keep on uh, discovering and learning and hearing. I love doubt does not have to be a dead end. It can be something that leads to an open door. And I think we need room for people to be able to explore and have doubts and have thoughts and, and figure this out. Because it's most important, like you said, point in life. We all have this desire to be fulfilled and people need to keep on looking.